22 months in prison, that is the punishment a federal judge handed down to former state senator Karen Carter Peterson after a guilty plea to wire fraud. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Cherie Skipson. And I'm Katie Moore. She pleaded guilty to taking more than $140,000 from both the state Democratic Party and her campaign coffers to gamble at casinos. Paul Murphy was in the courtroom for the sentencing today and he's joining us live outside now with the details on it. Paul. Katie Sharice, former state Senator Karen Carter Peterson stood before a judge here at the federal courthouse in downtown New Orleans and tearfully apologized for her dishonesty. She admitted to failing her constituents, family and friends who trusted her. Karen Carter Peterson declined comment as she left the federal courthouse in downtown New Orleans. She spent nearly 22 years in the Louisiana legislature. Wednesday, federal judge Sarah Vance sentenced her to 22 months in prison. Earlier, she pleaded guilty to a single count of wire fraud. She also resigned from the Senate and admitted to using tens of thousands of dollars from campaign contributors and the state Democratic Party to feed an insatiable gambling addiction. Eyewitness News political analyst Clancy Dubos called Peterson's fall from grace a tragedy on many levels. She's a strong person, and I think when her, uh, her sentence is, is fulfilled uh, with good time, she will probably be out in a little less than 19 months, uh, and that's still a significant time to be behind bars. Before sentencing, Peterson addressed the court. She said, I want to tell everyone who contributed to my campaign and the Democratic Party, I am sorry. This criminal case against me is what it finally took to get healthy. I have changed my life. Peterson's attorney asked Judge Vance for leniency based on what they called Peterson's diminished mental capacity due to her addiction. Prosecutors objected, saying a sentence of home incarceration or probation would send the wrong message to other corrupt politicians and the voters. The judge agreed, saying a sentence of probation would not reflect the seriousness of the offense or respect for the law. In the end, Judge Vance gave Peterson about half of the 41 to 51 months recommended by the federal probation office. I would not be surprised if she continues to serve, not in politics because she's giving that up, but you know, as she has talked about uh, trying to mentor others who suffer from addiction. And Judge Vance ordered Peterson to report to prison by noon, March 6th. At the federal courthouse in downtown New Orleans, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.